I don't care, I'm still free. Hey there, loot fans. How are you going, Internet? We're happy to see you again. It's here back again on Passy Your Skin for another loot crate. But this one's a very specific loot crate. Can you see? Firefly Cargo Crate. This one's a specialized crate, comes out bi-monthly from Loot Crate. Uh, we got the first one to give it a wee try and see what's inside it. And I'm kind of excited because I'm a huge brown coat. I'm a big, big Firefly fan. What's a Firefly fan? That actually started after Serenity came out. I, I did not know about Firefly whenever it first came out. I ended up seeing Serenity and then kind of like backtracking and then reading the comics and enjoying the rest of it. So, let's see who they got in for this little Firefly crate. QM and Blue Crate. So essentially, I think it's Q, uh, Q figures that actually kind of do the main contents on this. And of course, then the crate are the ones who facilitate it. So let's get a look inside. Oh, it's big. It's heavy. It looks like there's a lot in it. Okay, let's see. What are we going to go with first? Well, let's say, obviously, they don't go with a t shirt. So this is going to be a little bit different than our usual videos. So we'll go with the figure first and take a look at it. And it's Kaylee. Oh, 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 I love Kaylee. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, the, the, um. <laughs> I'm so happy because this is adorable. And they couldn't have picked a better character for the first one, really. Um, I, I probably, I, in my head, I thought it was going to be Mal, maybe a Nara. They're going to go for the sexy, sexy, sexy things. Achille! Oh. I miss Firefly, guys. I really do miss Firefly. I, I mean, I'm glad, it, I'm glad it ended whenever it ended on a high, whenever it did end. I mean,. As in, like, it's it's still extremely, extremely popular, but it's, I, I, I'm pretty sure if over time we may have gotten sick of the show or would have actually just faded from existence because of its nature, but this is adorable. Oh, wow. Well, as you can see what's inside the box, you can see it here, get into the actual close-up. There's our kitty figure, separated up with our cute parasol, our little base. Ah, oh, man, this has to be built. It has to be built immediately. So what is it actually made out of? Is it a plastic or a resin? It is plastic, which is alright. I mean, I'm happier with plastic. The resin statues will break uh, a lot more easily. I have had issues with um, every single one of the figures I've gotten from Naomi Komi sets for um, DC, like the DC Naomi Komi figures, like the one that you have over there. Which I, I think it's actually just on the edge of freedom. <laughs> the um, the cheetah, cheetah one that I actually have sitting there. Okay, what the hell? Am I getting the pegs wrong in this? Oh, I think I was getting the pegs wrong in this. Let's get Keely standing. Come on. I think this would actually be a little bit easier with it being a plastic figure rather than actually a clay one. Is one peg much bigger than the other? To make sure that you get them in the right ones? Ah, huh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, and I was exactly right. I was just putting the wrong peg in the wrong hole. Just don't tell any of my girlfriends that I did that. Okay, so... Okay. I, I love the wee parcel, it's adorable. Um, yeah, I was worried that was a little bit papery that I would have actually gotten broken, but no. Plastic one, and slip it through the hands. Come on, Gailey, hold your parasol. Otherwise it looks like you're giving one massive hand job. Which, uh, for Kelly's character, wouldn't be too bizarre, really. I'm sure I'm going to have a bunch of people who really like Kaylee get pissed off at me for saying something like that, but no, the, the girl was sexually liberated. She was happy. She was happy to talk about cock. Uh, there we go. Is that, will that do the job? I know that's meant to go into that hand, but it's actually being very awkward. Okay, and I'm going to just call it a day after getting it into this one hand, rather than both. Because otherwise, I'll be at this all goddamn day. There you go, Keely. You got a hold of it. It's all good. I mean, you still got your cock fatted fist there, but I mean, that's still not too bad. Okay, let's pop her down there for a wee look. Oh, and she's actually hanging that off her hand now. <laughs> Come on, Keely. Hold it. Hold your parasol. Yeah. It looks adorable. Looks good. I actually like the likeness in the face. It's a. It's very much like a car the cartoonish version of her. Um, the comic book version that I, I've seen a few times. I don't know who the artist is that actually did this particular figure, but it looks really good. And she's going to look so out of place amongst everybody else on here. Why did that stop recording? Why did both of those stop recording? So, we had a minor technical hitch there. 
How's it going? Welcome back to the video. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> we'll go back to the rest of the crib. So, on to the rest of the... T what have we got in here? Mm. Oh, look at this! It's so cute! Uh, essentially what they're doing with this crate is actually a big ball of adorable. Um, of course, I'm assuming it's because we've actually had Kaylee as the main figure for it. Um, so we're going all cute and cuddly. <sighs> it's a plush Kaylee bear! Look at it! Look at it! Look at this fucking thing! It's far too cute! It's a bear! In Kaylee's clothing! Well, okay. I'm offering a challenge. Anybody who sees this video, post an Instagram image or a, put an image onto the um, a link to an Instagram image or an image or image of your kid uh, adorably holding a cuddly teddy bear. And if I find your kid is the most adorable, then he will get the cuddle kiddly bear. He will get kiddly bear. That kiddly bear is now going to be a gift. Um, I've never been a plushy person, um, but this looks adorable. Someone would love this. So um, make sure to post an image of your kid. It sounds like a weird fucking request. Post an image of your kid if you want a free bear. Um, or a picture of him. Actually, fuck it. Put a, post a picture of yourself. The best image of somebody who's actually a Firefly fan, a brown coat, um, I will actually send them my Kaylee bear. You'll get the cuddle of this bad boy for the rest of your days. That's absolutely adorable. And it looks really well stitched and made as well. The, the uniform, it looks very very much in the same style as a build a bear. That's, and that's and also, I'm not taking it out of the bag. It'll stay minty fresh and sealed for your cuddles and snuggles. Um, okay, what else is in the crate here? Let's see. Okay. Mm Lift another packet of these. Okay. This is a Firefly Cargo Crate exclusive, is it? Does it say exclusive? Oh, let's just say for this particular one. It's a bunch of uh, pina colada umbrellas. Of course, designed like Kaylee's one. All right. <laughs> like that. I was wondering what was so important, what was so special about having a bunch of um, cocktail umbrellas, but they're all Kaylee branded ones. Um, so if you're having a Brown Goat themed cocktail party and you want to have a Keeley Bomber, um, do you know what actually? I like the name Keeley Bomber. The ingredients will actually be listed here. <laughs> Go and enjoy one. And if you do enjoy one, you need to use one of these for the inside of it. That's the only way you can actually enjoy it correctly. It's the way, it'll be, otherwise it'll be a it'll be a glass of, uh, both, ah, I was going to try some Mandarin but it, I'm going to feel miserably. Essentially horse piss. I'll remember what it is soon enough, because I used it a number of times in um, in the show. Uh, right, what else we got in here? We have exported from Persephone bumper sticker, which uh, I will never put onto anything because I can't stand stickers. We have, of course, their uh, thank you note for being a founder of a Loot Crate. Oh, my Loot Crate founder, uh, my Firefly founder pin, which uh, obviously never arrived to my house, but I got it inside, inside of my crate instead. I'm assuming they did this for um, international to uh, domestic customers. Anybody who's in the States got their pin sent out beforehand. Anybody who's got theirs as an international customer probably got it, got like me inside their crate because shit, what are you going to do? Uh, send a separate thing at the cost of shipping to internationally just for this one item? I don't think so. So what else we got in here? Uh, ba -ba -ba. Ooh, we got another figure. Okay, what's this one? Is a mini queue? Firefly, random one. It's going to be a blind box. And we have the cast. Oh, okay. Wash or Shepherd book. Wash or she Shepherd book. Come on, Wash or Shepherd. Let's see what we got in here. Give me Wash or give me death. Or, yeah, let him, like Wash, give him death. What, too soon? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Firefly fans. Like, I mean, honestly, I'm Saran I, like, I started watching it at Sarandi, so whenever I saw in the theaters uh, Wash's death, the people beside me were inconsolable, and I had no idea why. Because all I knew was this guy was this was this guy's pretty funny, and I've seen him in a bunch of other movies. But why is Alan Tudyk so? Why is everybody so sad? Why, why so sad, folks? So who did I end up with? Oh, all right. <laughs> well, I ended up with a doctor. <laughs> all right. Well, he's actually a cute and adorable little head on him. That's kind of nice. Okay, I suppose it makes sense. Keely and the doc. I mean, this is actually Keely has her little. Buddy Doctor to sit next to him. Let's see. Uh, actually, the two of them go hand in hand together. Oh, they look cute. They're like a wonderful little couple. Right. What else have we got inside this crate? I need to actually look inside it now because it's a it's a deep crate. They actually they, they did go um, a bit overboard with the uh, crate size. I suppose it's probably for the size of the bear. Oh, cool. Got another pin, and of course not an official loot crate pin, but obviously made by loot crate for loot crate as well. And everything is shiny, Captain. And that's uh, that's another one that'll probably go into my personal collection. And of course, with the Keely swirl in the background, everything's shiny, Captain. Oh, so cute. So yeah, we've also got a couple of cards for uh, the. What is this? All right, so a couple of 
exclusive cards for the Firefly board game. So a Fruity Oat Bar or a Loot Crate Silver Hold, which uh, probably has a special uh, action that you don't see otherwise on cards. And that's what it's from, uh, the Firefly board game. Which is, uh, where, oh no. Ah, oh, that's the one there, I think. These cards look like the match. So, yep, a bunch of, uh, a couple of cards, like two cards. Not, not exactly a massive uh, bonus for anybody who actually already owns the game, but uh, essentially yeah, probably a nice little touch. And some official uh, concept artwork from Firefly, which I do like. I do like these on these really nice matte cards. And the artwork is usually pretty cool. Uh, this one is uh, an exterior shot of, or an exterior design of, is it, I was about to say it's a Firefly, but it's not. It's a Reaver ship, yeah. I was wondering, looking at it, and it's essentially yeah, an exterior shot of a Reaver ship. And then this is a grappling. Oh, it's a, uh, yeah, it's again not. It's another Reaper, Reaper ship tool, but it's actually the claw, the uh, grappling hook they use to latch on other people's ships. Well, that's pretty cool. I, I do like concept art. Um, the last time Luke Crate did something like this, it was vintage posters for War of the Worlds and for uh, the Day the Earth Stood Still or something like that. And um, yeah, I, I, I love those. Uh, they're sitting in my actual bedroom, bedroom, um, in little tiny framed. Uh, spaces. What I would love to do is get them signed sometime by some member or crew or somebody. Like, to be honest, there was actually a group of people up in Belfast who did, um, uh, they were called Wireless Mystery Theatre. If you ever get the chance, you should go and check them out. They do like these live performances and the one I went and saw was War of the Worlds, which was great. And yeah, watching a live performance of a show that kind of scared the life out of people, including the little bits of news broadcast going like, uh, we would like to report that this is not actually a real invasion, this is a show. That, that kind of stuff happening as part of the show was very, very enjoyable. So, of course, uh, as every Loot Crate has, it has its own little booklet, which is called The Signal, and of course features Kaylee because she is our love and our dear. She is life itself. So, in uh, this particular one, it's got interviews and a lot of little quotes and stuff. Oh, it actually has How to Speak Mandarin, so I can actually say it in here. Um, what does it actually show? Yes! Oh, when it doesn't do, say horse piss, it's, um, Wun Goi Pi. Smells like a dog fart. Wun Go Pi. Wun Go Pi. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm butchering that, but close enough. So what we got in here, we've got uh, the concept of mini art prints, the everything shiny pin, the Firefly board game cards. Oh, the two, op two options you could have got were Jane Cobb or Simon Tam. And um, I'm kind of... I'm happy with Seven Town because it pairs up with Kaylee nicely, but um, Jane Cobb would have been kind of cute. I'm willing to bet they have the, they're going to do a Jane Cobb crate. If they're going to do a bi monthly crate for a year, and they have that means they have six of them, they're going to take six of the main cast members and they're going to do a crate for each one of them. And the Jane Cobb one's going to have that goddamn hat inside of them. I mean, if it doesn't have the hat, there will be fucking riots. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got Kaylee Bear Plush, a Firelight Travel sticker, a uh, little damn hero's mini master figure of Kaylee, which looks adorable, and a drink umbrella set for Kaylee. And there's actually like little articles in here about um, cosplayers. That's actually a Kaylee cosplayer. She looks pretty damn accurate and pretty damn cool. Um, it's, just, it's just the smile. Mm. Big beamy smile. So, yep, of course, normal thing of photographs from people. Uh, a little teaser and what's going to be in the next crate. Uh, in our next crate, our next trip through the verse aims to take us through the Red Sun system. We've got a job on Higgins Moon. The magistrate who owns it's got himself a reputation that ain't the kindest. But a job's a job. Plans come back around with a cunning t-shirt and a new little damn hero figurine. A cunning t-shirt. Hmm, I wonder what the cunning t-shirt may be. Is it possibly going to be the actual t-shirt that's uh, being shown in this picture? If it is a t-shirt, I'm assuming is a cunning t-shirt, it's the Jane Cobb t-shirt. So, yeah, I'm okay with that. Um, that's basically cosplay co cosplay 101. <laughs> it says you give me a Jane Cobb shirt, I'll be a happy man. I'm looking to see what kind of ones are already all, like, the hat and the figure. But yeah, that's our... Firefly, or that's our Firefly Create from Loot Create. It's, um, I'm not disappointed. That's actually, it, I mean, essentially it's a premium create. It's uh, once every two months, so the items in it have to be a little bit more special. And by the size of this one, and the content we got from the Founder Create, I'm not disappointed in any way, shape, or form. This is actually kind of, this is like, this is a good create for a Firefly Flan. Anybody who, fly, 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 Firefly Flan. If you're actually a fan of the series of Serenity or of the comic books or of just a Joss Whedon fan in general, it's probably worth checking out. Uh, especially if you do like to get um, the typical kind of figures and stuff that are from uh, Q because they actually do associate with... Oh, I just realized the crate that I got actually has one of those Persephone stickers on it already, which is kind of cute. Um, which means I said I got two of them, which is a nice touch, but um, absolutely unnecessary. 
So, uh, uh, dam. No, that's not our dam. That's exactly right. So you go down there and lock into place, as you should. And you go over there, and you seal in here. Uh, the crits will be bi-monthly, so we won't be seeing one of these for another two months. So the next one you'll receive, I uh, will receive for Firefly, will be in, what, this was a March crit, so April, May. So at the end of May, there will be another one of these Firefly Congo crits, which, um, looks, uh, that looks kind of cool. Um, obviously, just show you guys the box. It's uh, essentially made to look like the loading bay of the uh, Firefly, which is, um, if I end up actually, like, if I had unfolded this out completely, and I imagine if they were going to be super, super kind of like cheesy smart with this, they will actually have like the crates will fold out to be in the entire length of the interior of the ship, which would be <laughs> pretty damn cool. Can you imagine if you're kind of branching off to the med bay and up into the cockpit and then into the, uh, the their living quarters or the um, the kitchen and stuff. It would be a nice touch. Um, I'm not sure they're going to do that. I'm taking a wild gas stab in the dark about the idea of it. But um, you know what, guys? The Firefly Great, a little bit expensive, but it's actually not too bad. Uh, we have a little bonus for this month's uh, Firefly Great, just because uh, I've received it at the same time due to the, the shipping. There is actually one more versus item for the month of March, and it is uh, from the, the Level Up clothing line. And it is a Cap versus Iron Man long sleeve shirt, which will probably be my shirt for the screening of the movie because um, I don't actually own anything that's uh, Civil War related. So yeah, that, that's a nice touch, a uh, good solid grey shirt. Um, what's the brand? Red Chapter Clothing. They did a nice uh, stitching job on it. It seems to look like it'll wear well. Um, good large fit and the print on it is pretty minimalistic but also pretty nice. So Captain America Civil War. Yeah, it's Captain America themed, so that's what it's actually a crossover for. Um, guys, this has been a Firefly Crate for Loot Crate from here on Past Easter Skin. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys will come back for more videos in the future. There's a lot more to come this week on the channel. And uh, there'll be a lot more to come this month. So I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye.